quickly describe the Wise Products. Um, if you're just joining us now, Pastor Kelvin L. Jones of True Church and Set Free Ministry, 6212 Shakespeare Road, Columbia, South Carolina, 29223. I welcome, I greet all of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Tag someone and let them know that it's a word tonight yeah. designed with them in mind. Amen. Amen. The scripture lesson is found in Revelations chapter 12, verses 11 through 12. Amen. Amen. When you have it, say amen. Amen. And amen. And Revelation chapter 12, verses 11 through 12 says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, that ye dwell, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have for a short time. Yes. Amen. Amen. Can I read that again? Yes. It says, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. But woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Say it again, I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. By his blood. By his blood. My testimony. My testimony. In my life. In my life. Father, in Jesus' name, we declare and decree your word that goes forth and not return for it. Father, tonight it will prosper where you're sending it. God, it will do exactly what you please it to do, Lord. We thank you now. There's no distance in the spirit. So, Holy Spirit, have your way. Yes, Reach yes. everyone from young to old, white to black, yes. male to female, God, yes. children and all included, Lord. May your spirit now move through the internet. May your spirit move through every app every um, phone, every iPad, Lord, yes. right now in the name of Jesus, yes. to saturate the place where they are tuning in. Yes. But the word of God to go forth, silence every voice in every place but that of the Holy Spirit right now, Lord. And wherever they may be, God, manifest yourself, manifest your presence to let them know that there's no place that you can't enter. There's no place that where you are welcome that you won't dwell. Because as we lift up the praises unto you, then it says that you come down and you inhabit our praise. Let me you dwell in the midst of praise. So we praise you on the night, Father. We give you glory on the night. We worship you because you are gracious and you are merciful. You are loving, Father. And we thank you on tonight. God, we already claim in advance that somebody that's viewing, somebody will give and give their life over to Christ right now. Somebody will turn from hearing this word, turn from a way of, of destruction and turn into the eternal life and modern life of your son Jesus. We believe the Holy Spirit is drawing someone out of darkness. And we just thanking you and praising you in a pain. Somebody's life is being turned around. Some situation that looked impossible is now possible because you were in the midst. Somebody need healing tonight, Lord, yes, and your yes. healing power right now. The healing virtue that is released by faith that comes from Jesus Christ is touching that body right now, yes. in that hospital room right now, in that bed of affliction right now, yes. on that job where they went to work, but they still got aches and pain, but they yes. pressed their way on through. That right now, that virtue, is touching them right now. Uh, we thank you that someone needs a weight made. They need a, you to be a weight maker tonight. Yes. They need you to be Jehovah Jireh, their provider tonight. God, you will make a way out of no way. You will meet every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And all things work together yes. for the good for those who love you, for those who are called according to your purpose. Yes. We stand on the promises of your word, which is yea and amen in Christ Jesus. And we thank you that you always yes. cause us to triumph in Christ. Yes. So we give you all the praise, yes. all the honor, yes. and all the glory. Yes. And in Jesus' name, Jesus. we thank you and we praise you. you. And those that love the Lord, say amen. 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 Come on, amen. Let's amen. Let's amen.
swell. What are they told? Rejoice. Rejoice. They're told to rejoice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In verse 12, the heavens are told to rejoice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they told to rejoice, and 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 and, and while they were given that that command, that instruction, oh heaven, y'all rejoice. The earth got a warning. Mm -hmm. The earth got a warning. Why the earth, why the heaven is rejoicing, the earth was told a warning. Whoa. Mm -hmm. To the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Mm -hmm. Wow. So much to unpack in that because you gotta understand that he, he covers everything and every part of the earth. He said the earth and he said the sea. They you know a lot of stuff that's happening. In the sea affects us here on earth. Right. So a lot of things that happen on sea, because you have to understand that they in the sea. Things that have that trouble the, the sea trouble us on earth. Yeah. Because a lot of the stuff that happens in the sea makes its way to the land. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, come on, I got a church. Yeah. Amen. So when the sea is trouble, the land is trouble. Yeah. You know, that's where yeah. we get fish from. Oh, and what's your name? And and crab yeah. and, and all types of good delicacies, you know that that and then the, the sea is bothered, then the food is bothered, which yeah. comes to the earth that feeds us. Amen. Amen. Our cargo comes across the sea. Mm -hmm. Ships that bring goods to the to the earth, that ships that bring that transport the sea is just like almost like a highway. If y'all didn't know, you got just as much traffic that you see on the highway when you see the eighteen wheels moving back and forth, but a lot of times the product that they're moving down the highway come from containers that came on a boat that came across the sea. Mm -hmm. come on, so come if the sea is trouble and if there's sorrow and, and distress in the sea, yeah. this don't surely be yeah. sorrow and distress on the right. land. Am I right about it? Amen. So he gave us a warning. He said to the inhabitants of the earth, if you will live living and breathing, you are an inhabitor mm -hmm. of this earth. Mm -hmm. And he has a warning for us. Heaven got a reason to rejoice. Right. Psalms one Psalms eleven four gives you that will give you a perfect reason. Can I read? Mm -hmm. Psalms eleven four says, The Lord is in his temple. Mm -hmm. His holy temple. His holy. Sorry. His holy temple. Mm -hmm. The Lord's throne is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And his eyes behold. And his eyelids test the son of men. According to Psalms 11 4, the Lord is in his holy temple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Lord's throne is where? In heaven. Mm -hmm. So we ought to, that should let us know right there that we, that should just end the division between denominations right. uh, and, and one organization, one religious organization against another. Because it ain't one right church over a wrong church. Because it ain't this we the bomb church over and y'all are not the bomb church. Because God said his strong is in heaven. Yes. Amen. His strong is in heaven. The baddest church. Oh. <laughs> say he's in his holy temple. Right. I was going to say that. God if the word said that he's in his holy temple. Right. Where there is no sin. Right. There, there is no flaws or imperfection. Mm -hmm. Um, he's in his holy temple and sitting, and he's seated on his throne. Yes. Right. right. So temple in our modern day is, is equivalent to church. Yeah. So God's church is up there. Amen. So Amen. we ought to quit. We, we we can we can stop being the competition of and thinking that we are in a race to please God and, and we're trying to outdo each other for see who which church God like the most. Right. God's in my church is in. Heaven. Heaven. Hey. And I'm seated on the throne there. Right. Ain't no big dish in the Lord. Right. 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 You know? So, uh, you know, let's just get alone. You know, and let's do the work that God called all us to do together here on earth. Because there ain't number one lit, real, true, right church. And that's in heaven. And let me tell you, um, this is going to help somebody. Don't think you're going to find it a perfect church. Right. Don't think you're going to find a perfect church because there ain't nothing one perfect. We just read it. Mm. And, you're, and it ain't located no way in heaven. No, I mean, no way in earth. It is no, it's located in not one city. No, not one city in America got the perfect church that you're looking for. Every church got a flaw because it's made of people who are flawed. Right. It's made of people who have come from sin. Exactly. People that are struggling with sin. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not a perfect church. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for one, you won't find it here on earth. But boy, if you make it to heaven, yeah. it's yeah. a holy temple. Yeah. 
And if you make a point, hey, show enough preacher, you know, I like this preacher over that preacher, I like this bishop over that bishop, then I, I you, you just got to understand that in heaven ain't no variety. Right. right. That's right. Ain't no um, pick and choose. Ain't number one man that they're going to be preaching. That's it. And see, a lot of people may not like that because, you know, a lot of people stuck in, they got to always preach. Ain't number one preacher yes. in heaven. Amen. And they say he's seated. Yeah, on the throne. That should be good news right all now about for you. folks that are going through a hard time right now. And you got some unbelievers that are in your circle, and you got some people that are on your job. You got some people that are in your family that is telling you, hey, "There's a God. Why are you going through this? And there's a God. Why is this happening?" You ought to let them know, according to Psalm eleven four, that He's still on the throne. Yeah, man. Oh my God, can I say that again? See, that should have you shout, Facebook, yeah. that no matter who's in the White House, yeah. God is still on the throne. Yeah. And don't, we had a lot of the, um, people that were um, voting yesterday, we had a lot of problems with the voting machines and a lot of stuff like that. It always be around voting time where there is a lot of confusion. We had some upsets. Mm -hmm. We had some upsets. We had some people who lost that we thought should have won. We had some people who won that we thought should have lost. And so, we, you know, people kind of, yeah, no, all right, all man. You know, that's how it goes today. Right. Yeah, for some, but all man for us. Right. I'm glad this person there. Oh, man, I think this person didn't get there. Yeah. And so people that, that man or woman who made it, people are rejoicing. People who man or woman that didn't make it, people are sad. Right. But you got to remember that no matter who's in office, on earth. Yes. God is still on the throne in heaven. Yes. Who owns the earth? Yes. Who owns Come the on earth? Now. Yes. And see, we quit putting so much stock in people who are in control here on earth, and, and, and when they're not doing what they're supposed to do, and we just bypass them and go to the one who, yes. who owns the earth. Yes. See, you need yes. to take the yes. car. When the car don't work, yes. you see, if you quit going to the bootleg mechanic <laughs> and, and, and quit taking this car to that person, Uncle Joe, and Cousin yes. Frank know how to do it, and if you take a Mercedes to the Mercedes dealership, uh -huh. the Mercedes know what's wrong with the car because they made the car. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and see, if you quit trying to take people to other bootleg people, and they're and, 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 and they going to guess and figure it out, and they're going to do that comeback work. They're gonna give they're gonna give you a little quick fix, but they're gonna break something else, bro. Uh -huh. But see, if you go straight to the one who's on the throne, right, right. you go to the one that's in control, you go to the one that got the whole world. The song says he got the whole world yeah. in his what? Yeah. He got it in his hand. Mm -hmm. You go to him. Because you can't vote him out. Hey, amen. You can't vote him out. Amen. amen. Make no election for God. Mm -mm. He's still there. And that's good news. See, that's the good news. Nobody ought to shout on that. That's the good news. He's seated yes, <laughs> on the throne. My okay. father ain't going nowhere. Right. He ain't going nowhere. Like him or not, yeah. he here. Thank you, God. Like him or not, believe that he's real mm -hmm. or not, he ain't going right, nowhere. Right. Yes. And soon, and very soon, we are going to see, to see the king. Yes. Soon anyway. Yes. Very soon. We're going to see the king. And then when we get there, we'll understand what it means when they say it's heaven rejoice. Yes. We understand it. First Kings 22, 19, Michael said, Therefore, hear the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. He said, I saw the Lord. Mm -hmm. Seated on his throne. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. And all the hosts of heaven standing by him mm -hmm. on his right and on his left. Mm -hmm. There he is. Now, you understand why the word was given to heaven to rejoice? Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about nothing else. You, you ain't, we ain't got to throw in that the streets are made of gold. Right. Uh, we, <laughs> we ain't got to throw in the fact that there's no more tears. Every tear shall be wiped away. There's no more sorrow. There's no more pain. There's no more heartache. No more yeah. heartbreak. There's no more sickness. There's no more sorrow. There's no more death. All of that. There's no more lack. No more worry. Mm. We forgot to throw all that in. Right. You will ever be in the presence of God. There's no more murders. Mm. No more stealing and robbing and looting and killing and shooting. No more drugs and alcohol. No more pain, sorrow, distress. Yeah. We forgot to throw all that in. Mm. 
that, that, that those are a lot of things when you add all that up. That's a lot to rejoice for. But, but besides all of that, God is there. Yes. And right next to him is Jesus. Thank you. The one that died for you. Glory. That's right there. The Savior is right there beside you. That's enough yes. to rejoice. Yes, God. So we see why heaven is told to rejoice. Yes. But earth, yes. the inhabitants of the earth, mm -hmm. the scripture says in verse 12, there is woe mm -hmm. to the inhabitants of the earth because it says the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have for a short time. Mm -hmm. So to the inhabitants of the earth, there is woe. And that word, woe, W-O-E, means great sorrow, mm -hmm. great distress, mm -hmm. great sorrow, or great distress. That word woe means there is great what? Sorrow. There is great what? Distress. distress. Or there is things that is causing great sorrow, sorrow or great distress right. or troubles. Woe. W-O-E. Great sorrow or distress or things that cause sorrow, distress or troubles. Right now, we are all experiencing some woe. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're all experiencing some woe. Some W-O-E. Not the rob, the black rob for black woe. <laughs> <laughs> Not that woe. That woe is a surprise. Right. You know, uh, interest. Something that's woe. You know, and y'all know the song, you know, I'm not going to go into it like I did. Y'all know the song like woe. All right, then. But um, that woe is eight is W H O A, woe. And that word W H O A can also mean a command that is given to a horse to make it stop or slow down. Mm -hmm. Or that W H O A can be a word that is used to urge a person to stop or hold up or pause. You know, when somebody's going to walk in and you're not ready to receive them, you can say, whoa, 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 wait a yeah. minute. That's how that W-H-O-A is used. But this wall right here, W-O-E, is not, is not in a good way. The inhabitants of the earth, which is all of us, this wall that we're experiencing is not black raw wall. Right. It's not a wall that commands a horse to stop or slow down. It's not a wall that makes someone pause or stop. No. This world causes sorrow. It causes distress. It causes trouble. And it says in our text that right now, before I get to the text, right now I want you to point out a few words. Right now, COVID-19 mm -hmm. is wow. called coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Is what? Causing Y'all got it? Yeah. Y'all want to roll with this? Yeah. 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 All right, I'm going I'm to give you three of them and then we're going to go. So, COVID COVID-19 is causing Whoa. Whoa. All right. Then this next thing, the killing of George Floyd is causing Whoa. Unemployment is causing Whoa. Gun violence is causing Whoa. Whoa. And it's causing stress. It's causing distress, sorrow, and trouble. Right. Right? Right. Y'all ready? Yes. COVID-19 is causing Whoa. The killing of George Floyd is causing Whoa. Unemployment is causing Whoa. Gun violence is causing Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And it's causing Whoa to the inhabitants of the earth. Right. It's causing Whoa in Columbia, South Carolina. And wherever you're watching it, it's Whoa. Everywhere. And in our text, the one that's behind the things mm -hmm. that's causing sorrow, mm -hmm. the one that's behind the things that's causing distress, the mm -hmm. one that's behind the things that is troubling the earth, the one that's causing woe is the devil. Mm -hmm. Can we say that again? Yes. The one that's causing the sorrow, the one that's causing the distress, the one that's causing trouble, 
the one that is causing all of this to come against the inhabitants of the earth is the yeah, the, Bible. the Bible has identified the Pope, mm -hmm. the devil. And see, this is what's happening. While we're thinking it's a black and white thing, right. while we're thinking it's a black on black thing, mm -hmm. or a government thing, we are starting to see that it's a demonic thing. Yes, yes, yes that's see, right. Yeah. We, we, are, we are missing it all the way. Yes. Because see, <laughs> the enemy is so clever mm -hmm. that he got us thinking, oh, you are the problem because you are right. white. Oh no, you are the problem because you are black. Yeah. No, you are the problem because you are black and I'm black and we both um, stay in a rough neighborhood. Um, it's the government is the problem. The police the problem. Everybody is the problem. And the enemy got us pointing at each other. As long as we're pointing at each other, we never recognize him. Right. We never see where he is. It's the devil that's causing all of this commotion. Mm -hmm. So he knows that long as we keep looking at things and people, mm -hmm. we'll never recognize and call it for what it is. Right. It's a demonic thing. Right. Yes. It's a demonic thing. And it's among us. Right. It's a demonic thing. It's a demonic attack that's among us. And it's at its full force. It, it's at its most highest level. We saw some activity, but never like this. Right. We never thought in our lifetime that we would see the level mm -hmm. of evil yeah. that has mm -hmm. come on us. The level of hurt, the level of death, yeah. the level of destruction. Yeah. We never thought in our lifetime we would see it. Mm -hmm. Some of us, you can look at right now where we're at in 2020. I'm 49 years old. And some of the people that's, that's in here with me now, some of you viewing are older than me. And I know you can say, wow, I never saw nothing like this in my life. This type of evil and the way things are, I, I didn't see it. Never saw nothing like this in my life. And some of the ones that are watching that are younger than me, let's look at it like this. It's such a demonic spirit. It's such a demonic attack that is manifesting all over that some of us are not 30, I'm only in your 30, mm -hmm. and you're looking and you can count and, and on one hand how many of those that went to school with you are still living? Yeah. Yeah. How many of you went to school that are still living? Some of you are, are, are younger than 40, and you got classmates that you see, and, and, and because of the, the attack of the money attack that's been on their life against them, against their house, some of your people that you graduated with, they look older than you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. 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 Mm -hmm. Why? Because we are steady trying to fight a demonic thing in a natural way. Mm -hmm. And we're losing. Let me tell you, we are, we're so bent out of shape about racism. We're so bent out of shape about on um, gun violence and, and, and gangs and all of those. But you got to understand, we are so big not to say about poverty and lack, but we got to understand one thing. This ain't just happening. Mm -hmm. This stuff has been happening for centuries. Exactly. And like I said on Sunday, listen, if we would have dealt with slavery in 1820, spiritually, we would be dealing with it now in right. But we tried to deal with slavery according to the demon terms. <laughs> we tried to deal yeah. with slavery according to demon terms. The demon entered into people and, and, and they created terms and agreements that was um, supposed to do away with slavery and, and do away with injustice. And, and we agreed with it and we went along with it, but slavery, racism, none of that never left. Hatred, and none of that never left. Murder and violence, none of that never left because it never really got dealt with. Mm -hmm. it, it got laws made around it. Right. See, laws are made to do something if you kill somebody. Right. Not it's not to prevent you from killing somebody, it's to punish you after you do it. Right. So can you can y'all understand that? Mm -hmm. That they got a life sentence, they got a mandatory life sentence. Um, law in, in, that's in place for you if you kill somebody. Mm -hmm. So it don't stop you from killing somebody. It just deals with you after you kill somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. You never dealt with the murder. You dealt with the murderer. Yeah. Can I get, can, 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 are you following me? The, the laws are dealing with 
the murderer, they ain't dealing with the murderer. That's why you deal with one murderer, but you don't stop murder. Right. That's why somebody else come along and kill again. That spirit. Because you got a spirit. And all you know is dealing with the person that the spirit is using. Yeah. But once you put that person in prison, the spirit that's behind that person jumps out of that person mm -hmm. and go and get somebody else. And you ain't doing that for trying to build more prisons, trying to get ahead of this thing, trying to get more laws in place. And laws don't scare demons. That's right. Laws do not scare demons. Listen to this. And we are trying to fight a demonic thing with natural weapons. But as children of the Most High God, this is what we as children of the Most High God, we are told in 2 Corinthians, we're told in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, Verses 3 through 5. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 through 5. The children of God, people who are born again saved, mm -hmm. children of God filled with the Holy Spirit, we were told that though we live in the flesh, yeah, we live in this world, we live when we live in this flesh, this fleshly body that wants to fight like everybody else fights. It, it was trained to fight the way the world fights. He, and he said, I, I get it. I understand that because we are in this flesh. He said, but however. See, there's a however. Right. We are children of God. We don't wage war according to the flesh just because we live in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Just because we live in, in, in Columbia, South Carolina, we don't go and show out because everybody else wants to show out. Right. We don't fight the way other people fight. And so they're acting, and, and, and this helps us, and this explains to some people who may not go to church. I don't have any damn issue that is saying, where's the church? Why aren't the more preachers out, you know, protesting and marching? And where are the preachers in certain areas? We don't fight like y'all fight. Right. Come and on, maybe man. you didn't understand. Maybe right. you don't know that. So maybe that's why you got the right, you got the argument. I dig you. I understand you're angry. And I understand where are the preachers at. But I understand you don't, you don't read this. Right. And you don't have to live by this. So you don't know where we are. So you got a right to say, where are we? So can I help you with that? I'm not trying no. to hurt you. I'm trying to help you. Yeah. Right. Why we're not there? Why we're not on the front line throwing bottles and bricks with you out there, yelling at the top of our voice, getting horns and all of that, killing coronavirus is all packed up together? If we don't fight like you fight. Yes. We are not, we, 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 we don't go that way. Mm -hmm. and, and so I hope you can understand, we got a, we got, we got rules to go by. Right. And, and, and see you it, when you don't have rules to go by, you don't have you don't you're not a rule follower. Then you don't understand, and you and, and you quick to look at people who do abide by the law. Mm -hmm. But you know we got rules to go by, mm -hmm. and our Bible tells us that we don't fight like everybody else fights. Right. Even though we're in the same struggle, we don't handle it the same way everybody handles it. Right. That's why you're not seeing a lot of us out there because we got another guideline we got to go by. We got another rule book to follow. And it tells us that the weapons of our warfare are not weapons of the world. Mm -hmm. The weapons of our warfare is not um, bottles, water bottles, bricks, sticks, gasoline. That's not our weapons. So you 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 shouldn't see one of us with, with, with rugged weapons. Right. Like y'all are. And we can't not you from doing you. Understand that. We can't knock you from doing you. For so if you're watching and you've been out there and you've been on the front line and you you think that you this is what you need to do, we are not knocking that. That's what you believe that that's what it's gonna take. Then hey, we can't say you wrong. Right. But right. please you can't say we're wrong right. because we won't do what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And we can't say you wrong because you're not doing what we're doing because we got two different people we answer to. Yeah. Right. We got two different rule books we gotta go by. You got your book, we got ours. You got the street code, we got our yes. word of God. So we're not saying y'all are wrong, we just saying we don't do that. And, the, and so vice versa, can we get along? Can we stop beefing and saying that churches are not doing it? Can we get along and agree on this? If you're not of the word and you don't follow, you don't subscribe to Christ, then you can't tell a Christian what he should and shouldn't be doing because right. you don't know what a Christian Amen. should and shouldn't Come be on. doing. 
And vice versa, right. can I say this to some of the preachers? We got to stop telling the unbelievers what they should and shouldn't be yes. doing. We have been guilty of that. We are wrong for that, trying to make y'all do what you can't do. Because oh, you, yeah. you were saved, unless you get enabled by the Holy Ghost, yes. we can tell you all day long how to live, but you'll never have the power to do it. Yes. So we've been wrong for trying to make y'all do what we do, and then y'all have been wrong for trying to make us do what y'all do. And so can we just now call it a truth? Yes. Amen. Can, it, can we now call it the truth? Can we just say, hey, listen, man, listen, do you, we'll do us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Can we do that? Because I'm, I'm giving you word, and I know some of you, if you're not spirit, they say that you can't discern it. The, the word of God, the spirit, they discern. So I'm trying my best right. to help you understand it in whatever language you can. So I'm going to try to translate it in street language or language terms to help you understand. The Bible says that. Even though we are in the flesh, we don't wage war according to the flesh. Right. The weapons of our warfare are not the weapons of the world. Instead, our weapons have divine power for the demolishing strongholds. Amen. Oh, you don't know what a stronghold is. A stronghold is called racism. Mm -hmm. So you got to understand, you can't beat racism out anybody. Mm -hmm. You can't beat it out. Right. You can't burn down. You can't burn it down. You can't burn it out. You can't lock them up in prison and make that come, make it come out. Just like you can't make violence, you can't make drugs, you can't beat this stuff, lock people up, and make them think that that's going to come out of them. Locking them up and beating them is the result that comes from what they're doing. Right. But they don't stop what they're doing. It's a spirit. Mm -hmm. and, and the weapons that we, we fight with, they are divine. See, they come from God. They don't miss. See, they don't miss. And they destroy strongholds. Because if you never take the stronghold, you'll never change the mind. If you never change the mind, you will never change the person. Mm -hmm. That's right. You will never Amen. change the person. Amen. And see, the stronghold, or what is a stronghold? It's like a prison. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it to you lame. Because like I said, some of you, I think it. You don't read this like we read it. We, you, don't, so you, you really don't know where we're at. Because a stronghold is like a prison. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it is prisons due to a negative thought. Mm -hmm. The enemy uses a stronghold. He forms it in your mind. He gets a thought in your mind. He plants it in your mind. I don't like black people. Mm -hmm. He plants that thought in their mind. He don't give them a real reason why he shouldn't like them. He just put in the thought, don't like them. And then he closes it in. How do he close and make it a stronghold? He keeps letting them meditate on it. Right. He keeps shooting it to him. And guess what? He keeps shooting it to him. And guess what? He keeps shooting it to him. He keeps saying 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 it to him. And guess what happened? After you said it to yourself long enough, you don't sit there and entertain it long enough, it goes from here to in your heart. Right. And when it gets in your heart, it comes out in your life. Yeah. And then, even though you know that it's the wrong thing to do, because you being a white person, you know it's wrong to hate a black person. You're going to have a reason, a sonic reason, to hate one to enough that you would just murder them in cold blood, but you can't stop doing it. You can't stop that feeling because it's rooted in you. Ooh. You don't want to be yeah. that way, but you can't stop it, so you go wow. along with it. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. So you just got to go along with it. You don't want to be a killer killing up blacks. You don't want to keep shooting black on black crime. You don't want to be that thug, that Tupac image guy, the guy, that tough guy, that that um that star face kind of dude. But it's in you. You don't study it. You don't meditate on it. You don't let it get in from here to in here. And it's coming out of your life. You want to stop. you like the man that Jesus talked about in the Bible who had the demon, lead the demons. And he would cut himself and go through the tomb all day and night um, trying to kill himself. He, one day he tried to cut himself. One day he tried to drown himself. He didn't know what to do. He wanted help, but he didn't know how to stop it. Right. He wanted help, but he didn't know where to get it from. And the world, what they did is they tried to lock this man up. They started locking him up will be the answer. Right. You can't lock up a demon. You can lock the person up with a demon in. But the demon inside the person was so strong that they proved that they were stronger than human weapons. Right. And they popped mm. the shackles. Mm, so you trying to lock a demon up with physical mm. restraints. And it did no good. So what the people did, they just left them to itself. And so what has happened is people have left racist people to, to move themselves. to themselves. Yeah. They've left gang members to themselves because they have tried over and over human ways of trying to 
solve the problem and it didn't work. They're trying to shoot it out with the devil with a natural weapon mm -hmm. and it ain't working because when you try to lock one plane up, there's another one pops up. Yeah. When you kill one plane, here come another one. Yeah. When you hang one black man, here come another one. Mm -hmm. When you shoot one black crib, here come another black mm -hmm. crib. When you rock one drug deal up, here come another yeah. one. When you lock one drug bag up, here come another one. So he goes on and on and on and you're trying to fight this battle with natural weapons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's only escalating. Yes, it and it's only escalating. And you're frustrated. That's where I understand. We are frustrated because we're realizing that when does it end? When does the killing stop? So we're frustrated. In our frustration, we're realizing that what can we do? All we know how to do is react back. Right. All we know how to do is loop and riot and tell stuff with us. We feel like that's the only way that they going to hear us. Yes. Can I tell you something? They tore up and ride the burn down stuff long before we did it. And it ain't stopped nothing. Because here in 2020, somebody is still being murdered. Yeah. A black man is still being murdered by a white man. Yes. A black man is still being murdered by a black man. And it goes on and on. They had this thing called an L.A. riot. A lot of us weren't even born mm -hmm. when they burnt down L.A. Come on now. Did that stop what's happening right now? Mm -hmm. Did Rodney King beating and protesting and the riot that led to that, the destruction of Los Angeles that followed that, the, the riot that broke out all across the nation, did any of that change what happened in 2020? No. It continued on. Why? Because it's a stronghold, and we as people, and now even the children of God, we don't got so caught up with the world that we are starting to fight like the world fight. Mm. We, we, want, we want friends. Mm -hmm. right. So uh, to make yeah. friends, we don't want people picking at us, and we don't want people to, to lose our connections. We don't want to, you know, lose our those hookups. Mm -hmm. So we start fighting along with the world. We start doing what the world is, is what's acceptable to the world. We start letting the world tell us how to fight. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's going to happen at officials, government officials, um, legislators, none of them are coming to the Christian community and asking what do we think. They're just doing so. And then they get a Christian here and there to stand up with them just to be a yes man to whatever that they agree to but right. it has nothing to do with God and, and, and see these same legislators and, and these same people that allow prayer to be taken out of school, you didn't write it in you should have rioted for the right people. Yes. If you're going to riot, riot for the name of God. Yes. There was no riot when a person shot up a church. Yes. There was no riot when people are breaking churches. Ain't no riot when people disrespect and dis and disgrade the church building. Yes. No, there ain't no riot. Ain't even better make the news. Right. Mm. When it comes to the things of God. Mm. See. But we're trying to win a war, a race war. We're trying to win a health war. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to do it, and we're losing the numbers of the staggering. It's five plus five hundred and ninety something cases today. Six I'm sorry, excuse me. It's six hundred and eighty-seven cases in South Carolina as of today, and we are racing against the clock, and, and, and we are losing against the clock because more people are dying, and more people will die before they come up with this vaccine. And, and, and so people are they're losing hope, and they're seeing that ain't no hope now in the government because they can't come up with a vaccine to stop it. Ain't no hope in the healthcare because they can't, they don't have an answer for it. Ain't no hope in the in, in the laboratory because the scientists have no answer for it. Ain't no hope in your local government because they have no answer for it. Only that we can show is go to work and be safe. Yeah. So now we are left to try to fight this virus, along with fighting the, the uprising of, uh, of of this racial killing. We we learn, we're left to fight these things in our own strength, and, and we're losing, and so we're frustrated on every hand. But I stopped by to tell you tonight that we are trying to fight a demonic thing with a natural weapon, and we won't win against it because the weapons of our warfare yes. are not weapons of the world. Our weapons have divine power. We need to tear down strongholds. We need to take the mind of a racist person, the mind of a Ku Klux Klan. His mind needs to be in unlocked from the prison that is in, the prison of hate towards another color. And let me tell you, how do we do that? We don't, we, you, you can't fight the way we are fighting. First of all, we need to pray yeah. and ask God to 
forgive us that wretched. Right. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to ask God to soften the heart of a KKK yes. or Aryan nation, a white supremacist, soften the heart that they would sit down in a sit down with, with a black person and let us talk about why you don't like me. Right. That, that's not being done. You can't try to solve racism by putting people together who like each other. Right, exactly. Putting white people in the same room with black people who already like each other don't solve problems. Right. So that white person can't speak for the white person that don't like you. Right, that's right. Yeah. You, when are we going to get in the room with the two black men? Mm. Mm. Right, supremacists. Mm -hmm. When are we going to get in it with skinheads? When are we going to sit down with them face to face, across the table from each other, have a dialogue. That's when we start unlocking the mindset. When are you gonna sit a crip down with a blood, with a folk, not no wannabe ones, but the ones that really call the shots? When are we gonna sit them all down to one room? When are we gonna bring them to the table? Not people who think they know why they do what they do. When are we gonna bring the ones that do it mm -hmm. to the table? Right. And talk about it. What's the beef? What, what's, and, 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 we, and we can unlock some things, but it has to be done through prayer. We have to use the weapons that God gave us. Our weapons have power, mm -hmm. divine power, yes. to demolish stronghold. That means it don't come back. See, racism could have been demolished, but you fell for the trick of the enemy, and we've been trying to fight this thing with a natural weapon. Right. And so now here we are, 2020, dying from a silent killer while we're dying in the street by a gun. Mm -hmm. And listen to this. We tear down all the men. And every presumption that set itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Mm -hmm. See, we, we forbid, Christians prevent strongholds. Mm -hmm. See, we've been given a way to defeat the enemy, right. a way to not let it form a stronghold. We've been told that if something comes to our mind and it don't line up with Christ, mm -hmm. we are to honor it. We are to take possession of it. Right. We are to arrest it mm -hmm. and make it obey Christ. Right. And yeah. make that thought yeah. obey Christ. You don't sit there and think about it, Lord. Yeah. You don't sit there and just play it over your mind, play it over your mind, because then it'll get in your heart, then it comes out of your way, yes. your life. And then the enemy used it to be what? A stronghold. Oh. He used that same thought that you don't meditate on, and he imprison you to the thought mm -hmm. that you got to obey the thought. Yes. Then you obey the thought now. Amen? Amen. But we need, as Christians, to take the thought and put it up against the Word of God. But see, you can't take the thought and compare it to the Word of God if you don't spend no time in the Word of God. Right. If you don't know the Word of God, you don't know whether this thought is from God or is it from the devil. Right. You won't know because you don't know the Word. Yeah. Yeah. You want the preacher to know the word. Right. You want somebody else to know the word. You got to learn the word for yourself. Yeah. You got to get in the word and study for yourself. Because the enemy going to catch you by yourself. Yeah. He ain't going to catch you with a preacher. That's he ain't right. going to catch you with somebody who knows the word. He going to wait till you're all by yourself. Uh, and then that's when he's going to attack. He yeah. going to wait till you got some people around who don't know the word like you don't know it. Mm -hmm. And then that's when he's going to attack. He going to attack you while you round it. People that know the word because he know they're going to refute it with the word of God. No, he wait till he get you by himself. When he get you in your car. When he get you alone at home. When he get you on your job. When he get you on your way to your job. Mm -hmm. When he get you on your way home. When he get you at the gym. When he get you at Walmart. Wherever he catch you at. That's when he attacks. Because he know you don't what? You don't know the word. Right. Don't no worry. If you think, let me, can I give you something? If you think that he wasn't scared to try Jesus, mm. who is the word? Right. Right. Oh, you don't think that he was scared to try Jesus yeah. and Jesus Christ is the word? Right. Do you not think he would not try you mm. or me? Mm. Use the word on the word. <laughs> he tried to use the word <laughs> out of context against the word mm. and wasn't scared to do it. Right. Mm. Knowing that Jesus knows exactly who he is. Wow. Mm. Jesus was up there with him when he, he was a chief musician. Right. He, Jesus knew exactly who he is. He knew exactly who Jesus is. But that's how crazy he is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that he would try Jesus. Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And see, he like he know who Jesus is, he know who we are. Right. And he know whether or not you know the word. He'll find out. Right. Quick. He will test you and find out quick if you know the word. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And you're trying to fight it, but tell your neighbor this fight is spiritual. This fight is spiritual. Let me move. The devil is causing all the struggle. Because according to our text, listen to this why everything is turned up, um, crumped up to the highest form now. Y'all want to know why in 2020 everything is at its highest level? Why evil is just rampant? Because the Bible tells us the devil mm -hmm. is causing all the struggle. Mm -hmm. Because according to our text, he's come down on earth mm -hmm. having great wrath. Right. Because he knows that he has for the short time. Yes. Because the devil, devil, your days, your your days, days are, numbered. are numbered. Yes, Lord. The devil's days are numbered. And see, whether we fail to recognize it, he fully knows it. Mm -hmm. And that's why he does what he do. And then he's doing it at top speed. John 10, 10 says the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. Oh. Listen, the devil is at top speed on it now. Mm -hmm. The devil is stealing, killing, and destroying many by what? Many. Mm -hmm. He's carrying out his mission through people who have yielded to his influence. Those who he has strongholds over. Mm -hmm. Those who he holds in prison to evil thoughts. Right. Those who thought whose mind he's uh, infiltrated and he's filled with demonic thoughts. Now he's Pushing buttons. Mm. He's releasing them yeah. into the earth. He's releasing them in different cities. He's releasing them in different countries and, and, and he's releasing them to steal, kill, and destroy, to carry out his mission. We were told that agitators were going from city to city, state to state, um, turning peaceful protests into violent right. rioting and looting. Right. But can I tell you that that was the devil uh -huh. that was going? Mm -hmm. And he, he just caught a ride with somebody. <laughs> see, we tried to fight them. But see, when you lot, when we caught up with them, and our, our great sheriff and our great police department made the arrest, did that stop them from going to another city? You can't stop the devil exactly. with natural weapons. Right. He didn't care that you locked up a couple of his workers right. because he got millions or more. Yeah. Right. He kept a ride in and out of town or as he pleased. He kept a ride in and out of the neighborhood as he pleased. He kept a ride in and out of some of your houses as he pleased. You can put one devil out and you can put another one. You can put a gun out that's a devil and get a hearing that with the devil. You can put a jail out that's a devil and get a drone that's a devil. It's still a devil. You can turn it out with a one. How do, I, how do I keep attracting the same type of people? You ain't never put the spirit out. You just put the person out. Yeah. You don't try to go to white, that was a devil. You try to go to black, that was a devil. You went to a Mexican, he was a devil. You went to a Puerto Rican, and that one was a devil. You went to an Indian, and that one was a devil. Then you give up and say, well, you know what? I might as well give up on me and get me a woman. We're still yes, another yeah. devil. Come on, man. Come on, how the thing was. And you still ain't got rid of them. <laughs> Come on now. You're trying to fight. You're trying to fight something that you cannot fight exactly. with natural weapons. Exactly. You can only win against the devil through the word, through spiritual weapons. Mm -hmm. And listen to this. That, in other words, the devil is looking for someone to take control over. He's looking for people to carry out his wrath through because he knows his days are them. Yes. And all and I'm sad to report that he hasn't had any trouble with who. Right. The devil has no trouble with food. People are yielding themselves every day to the used mind. Mm -hmm. Use me, devil. Your hand, I, I want the job. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and there's millions of folks who are willing to be used by the devil to carry out his agenda. Mm -hmm. And some are in high places. Mm -hmm. Some are in low places. Some are in government. Mm -hmm. Some are even in the church. Mm -hmm. Some are in the suburbs. And some are in the hoods. And they are displaying the work of the devil throughout the earth. And the work of the devil is not limited to one particular place. It's not limited to one particular race. It affects everywhere and everybody. Mm -hmm. See, that's why you got to understand the devil don't care that a white man don't like a black man. He don't like either one of you. Right. Come on, man. A devil don't care that a crip don't like a blood. Mm -hmm. A blood don't like a crip. He don't like neither one of you. Right. He don't care that you right. sell drugs to a white neighborhood. He don't care if you sell it to a green neighborhood. Yeah. He don't like none of you. He don't like right. the drug dealer or the drug user. Yes. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yep. 
He don't like none of you. And we and we're fighting each other. Right. And we're not getting no way with it. We're fighting, killing each other, trying to stop the devil. Mm -hmm. And all we're doing is carrying out his agenda. And we're so blind to it. Mm -hmm. And the church has got so blind, they don't they don't side it with the world and they're trying to fight, push legislation and push laws. All of that has its place, but you cannot fight a demonic thing with natural laws. Right. It's not gonna work. But can I tell you this? But there's good news mm -hmm. in the midst of all this chaos. There's some good news. In the midst of all this chaos, mm -hmm. there is some good news. There's a word from the Lord that would defeat the agenda of the devil. All right. That's the good news of the gospel there. Amen. Now we get down to it. Yes. There's some good news that will defeat mm -hmm. the agenda that the devil has. Here it is. God has given us a word to implement that will stop the devil dead in his tracks. Mm. You are shutting down. It's just like he coming down the track, mm. wide open, full speed, and track speed. Yeah. Mm. And all of a sudden, it just throw the whole train mm. on, on brakes. And if an air track at full speed has to hit brakes, it derails the whole train. Right. God got a word that will derail a ham track. Yes. And that devil is the, the driver of the ham track that, that is coming through our cities regularly, dropping off hate. Right. Dropping off anger, dropping off poverty, dropping off corona, yeah. dropping off AIDS, diabetes, all the everything that's affecting us, yes. white and black. Mm -hmm. The Amtrak, the devil driver is coming down track in every city, every every state, just dropping it off. But there's a word from God that can stop it in the tracks. Mm -hmm. That can derail the whole thing, demolish it, destroy it. Mm -hmm. there's a gym, there is a way. And mm -hmm. God has given mm -hmm. it to us. God's battle plan to defeat the work of the devil is found in Revelation 12 11. Yes. This battle plan yes. to defeat the devil mm -hmm. is found in Revelation 12 11. And this is so sad that people, you got some people that are so full of pride, so full of pride, which is of the devil. The devil got you yes. locked into a prison of pride mm -hmm. that you just hate the fact that it's that so. Mm, right. Mm. Yes. You hate the fact yes. that God thought of it before you. you this is God. <laughs> wow. You hate the fact that somebody that comes from nowhere that you don't know can stand before you live and tell you that God has a plan. Yes. Because you don't know me, or uh, I, I don't matriculate from the same walls and halls of, of education that you matriculate from. That hey, I, I I can't receive it. You don't have to. The word of God is already written. Yes. He's given us a battle plan. Your plan is not working. Amen. The White House plan is not working. The government plan is not, not working. working. The police department plan is not working. God has a plan. Mm -hmm. God has a plan. And every one of you, mm -hmm. every one of us, do you not know? You can be in whatever position, whatever office, whatever title you have, it, that's fine and dandy. You go answer to God whether you got to answer to anybody on this earth. You may be in power now and you feel you are answer to nobody, yeah. but one day, one day, you will stand before yeah. God. And yeah. you will give an account. And your title, your authority, your years of doing it won't mean nothing. nothing. To a God that sits high and been watching you yeah. from day one. Yes. None of that would help you. None of your connections would help you. Your mm. money won't help you. Mm. None of that would mean nothing. It'll burn up when you reach for it. Yes, your works, when you turn this idea, it'll yes. go up in flames yes. before a holy God. Jesus. Ooh. But there's a plan mm. that God has given us in, 12, Romans, in Revelation 12 11. And they overcome. Uh huh. Yes. They overcome him. Who is that him? The devil. The devil. He said, they, who is they? Uh -huh. Who is they? Who is the they that overcome? Uh -huh. Who is us? Earth. And who is the inhabitants of the earth? Now everybody on the earth that's the inhabitants of the earth gonna overcome. Right. Who's God talking about? Right. God talking yeah. about the children. Yeah. Those that are washed in yeah. the blood. Those that are oh, accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, that are filled with the Holy Ghost. He said, No. 
overcome. I don't know about everybody else, but some of y'all are living like everybody else. You got right. in a place of defeat like everybody else, so you are going down like right. everybody else. But there is some of y'all that understand I got a plan. Right. And for y'all that follow me, y'all are overcomers. Right. Yes. Y'all are overcomers. Right. Why? Because you got three areas where God has given you defeat over the enemy. Right. The one area is the blood of the lamb. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? To a believer. What does that mean to a believer? If somebody walking the night, this can turn your life forever. What does that mean? That the blood of the Lamb is the first plan that God has given you to beat the devil. Matthew 26, 28 tells you. It says, Jesus said this. This is my blood when he was doing the communion. The Lord's Supper, they called it in the gospel. He said, my blood is the covenant which is poured out for many mm -hmm. for forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. See, you got to understand, if you read Revelation, you went back and read any of it leading up to 12, 11 and 12, it was talking about the devil being accused. Right. It was talking about the devil day and night before God accusing mm -hmm. the children of God of being heathens and right. crooks and thieves and murderers and robbers. Right. And why are you giving them a chance without right. them just on one time? Yeah, they don't need to go either. So he's day and night accusing us of being perpetrators, hypocrites. Mm -hmm. All day the devil does it to God. But what makes up for the devil, because let me tell you this, some of his accusations ain't false. Right. Mm -hmm. Some of he got dead to the right. right. But what makes it different between one, one that's dead to the right Another one that's dead to the right. Then this one that's dead to the right is covered by Jesus who sits on the right. Because yeah. <laughs> both of you can be dead to the right. Both of you can be dead wrong in your sin. But one of them can be covered by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. And the other one is uncovered. That uncovered one got trouble. But that one that got the blood of Jesus that covers him, that's an overcomer. Yeah. And tonight, you, can, you may be in defeat tonight, but you can take the blood. Yeah. You can accept Jesus' blood. You can accept his blood as atonement on, for now. your sin. Woo. You don't have to let the devil accuse you of anything. Because right now when he accuses you before God, he tells you in your speak you're nothing. He tells you it'll never be nothing. Right. Once a, a jail a bird will always be a jail bird. Once a crack addict will always be a crack addict. Yes. Once a thief will always be a Come thief. On, You'll man. never make it. You'll never have nothing. Yeah. You'll never be happy. Yeah. And you can, you can sit on, there with all the accusations he can talk about you with. God don't want you. God won't accept you. But you can say, yeah, I ain't perfect. No, I don't have it all together. However, Yes. yes it ain't about how well I perform that makes me right to God. It was nothing but the blood yes, of yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing That's but good. the blood. Yes, yeah, devil, I might have messed up yesterday, Woo. but I'm covered in the blood today. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 What you are looking at is, is, is sin, yes. but what right. God is looking at Woo. is the covenant. Yes. The blood. Yes. The devil. It stops him in his track when he tried to tell you that yes. because you made a mistake, you are a mistake. You said nothing could wash away my sin. Nothing, nothing but, but the blood, blood of Jesus. Jesus. Woo. Right. Work. You know yes. how powerful the blood is? Yes. The blood. You got to you got to understand the blood can wash away any sin. Yes, God. You ain't sin that bad that God can't cleanse you. Yes, God Lord. can't forgive you. Don't yes, let the devil can. keep telling you that you can't be forgiven. Yes. He ain't gonna forgive you for that. You don't did too much. Right. The devil is lying. He is a liar. He's a father liar. That's what he do. Yes. He lies. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. He uses people. Mm -hmm. Family members. He'll come through them and tell you you would be nothing. Right. They told me that. They told me you would never be nothing. You always be a drug addict. You always would be a criminal. You will always be a prisoner. Because you came home this time, you'll be back. Don't worry. You, you, you'll run out of that church stuff and you'll go right back to prison. You'll go right back to drugs. You'll go right back to the street. But I got the blood that covers me. And yeah, people watch you all the time. They do it to me. If I say something wrong, they, I thought you was a Christian. Yeah. If, if I walk wrong, I thought you was a Christian. If I speed, I thought you was a Christian. Yeah. I turn my music up, I thought you was a Christian. I turn my hat to the back, I thought you was a Christian. I turn the sideways, I thought you was a Christian. If I don't wear a suit, I thought you was a Christian. If I wear a suit, I thought you was a Christian. I'm always being accused. Right. But I don't let it bother me because I understand I don't do it all right. right. But I got atonement for my sins. Thank you, God. I ain't saved because of how well I can perform. Right. Mm -hmm. 
I'm saved because of Jesus' blood. Yes. Right here, according to Matthew, mm -hmm. that atonement uh -huh. was made for me. And the enemy can't keep using my past against me. And my past would be five minutes ago. He can't keep using that against me, and he definitely can't keep using that against you. Right, right. That's how you stop it. Mm -hmm. It's one weapon. Okay. The second weapon is the word of our testimony. Mm. Mark 5, 19, when the demonic man, who everybody had threw away, who everybody said would never be nothing, the, the demonic man with the legion of demons, who people would say there's no hope for him. Mm -hmm. He'll never change. He'll never get it right. She'll right. never get it right. Um, you just like that. You just like your daddy. Mm -hmm. You just like your mama. You will never be nothing. They were nothing. That man, mm -hmm. that when everybody cast that man away, Jesus came on the scene. Mm -hmm. And what people can do in the natural, Jesus did in the spirit. Mm -hmm. What people tried to do in the natural, they tried to use natural weapons. They tried to use handcuffs and, and chains. And when the handcuffs didn't work, when the chains didn't work, they just said he's no good. He, 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 he's not, he, he can't be fixed. He can't be helped. He's right. just a castaway. He's just a bad dude. He's just a nobody. He's just a criminal. He's a hard criminal, right. too. There ain't no hope for him. They're saying right now tonight, ain't no hope. You don't put you in AA. You don't came home still getting high. Right. You don't try to do this and you still won't get a job. Ain't no hope for you. Ain't no hope for her. But I'm I come to tell you tonight that when people can't help you, God can. Amen. Because this man, there was no hope for him, no kind of way. We back gave up on him and put him in the tomb. They put him in a dead place. Mm -hmm. They consider him a dead man walking. But Jesus came. Amen. Yeah. And Jesus cleaned him up. The Bible, if you go back and read Mark chapter 5, you will hear about this man's testimony. God cleaned him up, cast out all the demons, and clothed him in his right mind. And then the man wanted to follow Jesus wherever he went because he was so grateful for what Jesus did. Jesus said, no, you do your best work if you'll go back to the people who don't know what I've done for you, but who know you. Go back to the people who called you crazy. Go back to the people who called you a failure. Go back to the people that say you'll never graduate school. Don't ever think about college. Go back to the people that say you'll never be a sober person. You'll always be a drunk. Go back to the people that say you'll always be a game baby. Go back to the people that always say you'll be a prostitute. Go back to the people who say you're crazy. Go back to the people that say you will be nothing yeah. and that they wish you were dead. Mm -hmm. Go back to the people that say you will always be a jailbird. You will always be in prison. Go back to them. Yes, go back to them. He said, as a matter of fact, go back to your friends who said it. Right. And he said, go back to your family who said yes. it. He said, go to the people who counted you out and say, now tell me in. Yes. Thank you, he said, go back and tell them count one thing, in. how I've had mercy on you. Yes. And what great things Thank that I've done for you. Yeah. See, that's the second way. First way we stop them in the strike is with the blood. Right. I'm forgiven on my sins. Thank the you, second way we stop the devil cold in the strike is our testimony. Yes. So I got a testimony. See, I, people yes. said I'd never be nothing. Thank they you. said I'd always be a drug addict. They said he'll always be an inmate. Right. He'll never get it together. Yes. He'll always he'll die in the street. They don't, he'll be a junkie. They laughed at me. They see me coming. As they come out in the neighborhood, they see me coming, they start calling people. Hey, old junkie kid around here. Mm -hmm. People go in their house when they see me coming up. Hey, man, we ain't going to the street. They ain't want to deal with me. Friends talked about me behind my back. Yeah. They talked about how I smell. They talked about how I look. They talked about um, I'm going to be homeless. They talked about I ain't had nothing. They talked about how I was pawning my stuff to get dope. They, and, and then when I went to jail, they said, I knew he was going back. I knew he would never get it right. I knew he would go to jail finally. Now they got him. He'd never get out. I was talking about counting out many times, yeah. even by church. I got into church and tried to get right, trying to live right, but I started making wrong moves and I started going back and people saying he'll never make it back in church. He'll never make it back in um, in, in, in the body of Christ where he need to be at. It's good for me to always be out there. I knew he was fake. I knew he was a hypocrite. Mm. I got a testimony for you. Woo! Jeez. When people gave up on me, Four o'clock in the morning. Yes. High out my mind. Yes. See, I'm gonna hurt the devil. I'm gonna oh, stop being distracted yeah. from my four o'clock in the morning. Go snorted almost a half a um a half of um um ounce of cocaine. High out my mind, paralyzed, no, though drunk, I don't know how many 18 mm. packs of beer. Driving like that, paralyzed, going up I 20, don't mess up all my money, don't spend all my check. I ain't been home in three days. 
headed home with, on a wing and a prayer. Mm -hmm. There they got gas to get home, praying to God, hoping I'd make it home. And then the God just all of a sudden spoke to me and said, are you tired? Mm -hmm. And I said, God, I need help. I yeah. said, if you can help me, I'm ready to be helped. He said, if I can, Woo! all things are possible Woo! to those who believe. Yeah. I pulled the car over 4 o'clock in the morning on Bad Road, I mean on I 20. Four o'clock yeah. in the morning, laid out on the highway and say, God help me. Yeah. Take this cocaine away from me. Yes, Take this life away from me. I don't want to live this way no more. And God did it instantly. Woo. He didn't do it the way I thought he would do it. He did it the way he wanted to do it. Hey, he brought a stronghold. Oh, yeah. I tried to break it myself. I tried to quit. People tried to quit. My wife tried to cuss it out of me. My family yes. tried to talk about me out of it. And none of that would work. But when God stepped in yes, and he used divine weapons, yes. he got inside and got a hole. He got in hold of the thing by the roof. And he pulled out the habit out by the roof. And ever since then, mm -hmm. God stopped restoring. When people said I wouldn't have nothing, yes. God gave me a little something. When people say I never feed nothing, God started to elevate me and my gifts started making room for me. Yes, when people say that he'll never make it back to the poor pit, I went from the prison to the poor yes, pit. Yes, God. Yay. Hallelujah. God yes, did it. Thank you, God. I'm living proof. That's why nobody can tell me there isn't a God in the community. Yes, I am proof. Yes, that God is in the community. Yes, I come from the community. Ooh, and I want to prove that God can do it. My yes. testimony stops the devil in its tracks. Thank you. Yours do too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yours do too. And if you and if you will let God get in your life right now tonight, you will have a same testimony. Yes. Your testimony is even powerful than mine. You are ready to take this to the next level because you got a testimony Amen. all of your yes. own. We stop him in his tracks by the blood, no matter what I may have done. The blood that's covered there, I am forgiven. Yes. Two, we stop about our testimony. We, got to, we need to tell people what God has done for us. We need to tell them how good he's been. We need to tell them. We can't be ashamed of, of where we come from. If you was a prostitute, hey, that's what you want. But you ain't that no more. Yes. You need to tell somebody about Yay. it. You need to tell somebody that's still one that how God cleaned you up. Hey, yes. you got high, you got high, man. We all have it happen. That's Don't right. be ashamed of it, but let it be something that can deliver somebody yes. else. Yes, God. Third thing, love not our lives unto death. Three things, and I'm close. Third thing, love not your life unto death. Mark, Matthew 10, 38 and 39 says, Anyone who does not take up his cross and follow me, they're not worthy of me. Mm -hmm. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Mm -hmm. One way you stop the devil in the stripes, by the blood. Mm -hmm. You got to sell Jesus' way of making things right with God and not try to find a way. Yeah. Too many people are trying to find a way. You don't have to find a way. Jesus made the way. He is the way. You just got to believe that he forgives you. You got to not let the devil and nobody that's under his influence keep making you think that because of what you've done, you can't be saved. God won't forgive you. Right. Your sins can be under the blood. Don't let the devil keep telling you. Stop him in the tracks and like say the blood of Jesus watching you clean me. From that, I'm forgiven. Two, your testimony. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to hear it. Yes. You need to tell someone how good God has been to you. Don't let somebody quiet you or don't let nobody um, put a muzzle over your mouth to where you're scared to talk about where you come from. Don't let where you come from, don't let nobody make you feel ashamed of it because somebody is in it right now. You come out of something that somebody right now is dying in, and they need some hope. They need to hear it from somebody who's been there. See, we got a lot of people that bless their heart that never been out in the streets that is willing to go in the streets and try to witness to people and it helps but it hurts. Right. Because they can only go so far. Mm -hmm. Because when you get down to the nitty gritty and I ask you, man, have you ever been strung out? You know, you ever walk the street at night? Have you ever in your life got down on your knees, took your finger and dab it in the carpet trying to decorate dirt from cocaine? Have you ever did that? Mm -hmm. Have you ever geeked all night when you could eat, you could sleep, you looking out the window, your, your guns are stuck, and you're not good, your eyes are sunk in the back of your head? Have you ever experienced that when you ain't washed in weeks? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been so high till you defecated on your own self? Mm -hmm. No, I never did that. Mm -hmm. So how you know what I'm going through? Mm -hmm. I need somebody who done been there. That's walking clean down the pump. And that's where you come in at. Yes. You've been there. You can stop the devil right in his tracks with your testimony. Mm -hmm. 
And last, you can't live your life unto death. You can't be afraid to die for Christ. And that's sometimes not even being physical. You can't even be afraid to lose family. You can't be afraid to lose friends to follow Christ. But sometimes you're going to lose family. You can't be a people pleaser and follow Christ. You can't love family even if they wrong. I don't care if they're your daddy, your mama, your grandmama, your granddaddy, your children. You can't love people enough that you let them lead the way to Christ. That's right. You can't. You can't love it like that. You have to be willing to die for this. You have to be willing to die to yourself. You need to die to your friend that don't mean you no good. So what you grew up with them all your life. You ain't obligated, you owe them nothing. Would you rather let that relationship you have with them send you to hell? Would you forsake eternal life? Would you forsake the kingdom of God just for a worthy friendship? He said to be friends with the word is the enemy of people. You can't love your life. That's how you stop the devil's tracks by the blood of the Lamb, the word of your testimony, and you can't love your life. To death. You got to, your life got to be a testimony. Your life got to be a sacrifice. I, you, you got to be able to give it all up for God if He calls you to. And walk away from anything. Walk away from anybody if He calls you and asks you to. You got to be willing to do it. I pray that this word is bless you as it bless me. I pray that we use our, what God has given us in the Spirit to fight. Yes. Instead of trying to continue to fight the demons that we are facing with natural weapons and keep moving, we can stop this, this thing that's happening in the world. We can stop all of this stuff that is going on, but we don't have to do it. We don't have to do it with spiritual weapons. We can't continue to try on our own. Because it's 2020, it'll be 3030. And God forbid that we are here, somebody will be here, and it will still be going on. Yeah. It still be going on. Yeah. Still be doing the same thing. We can stop the devil in his tracks. I am an overcome. Amen. By the blood of the Lamb. The word of my testimony. In my life. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm ready to God to bless you tonight. Um, if you were God to fix you in a way that you need prayer now. God has set you in a way that you want to just give your life over to the Lord. That's the biggest yes. thing, man. Don't keep going on in this yes. world without God. And you haven't done that much. You have not done near what you think. Don't let the devil keep lying to you to tell you, man, you can't do it. You got to be perfect before you get saved. None of us is perfect. None of us. All of us is acting for the grace of God. Yes. His mercies are new every morning. Yes. We all need them every morning. None of us do everything right every day. But God's mercy yes. covers us. Yes. His grace is sufficient for us when we are weak. You can experience that for yourself, man. You can come to know God tonight. Give us a call. Yes. 803-977-3440. Call us. We have pastors that are standing by that are praying with you that will help you to know God, love God, and serve God. Man, you can turn around right where you're at tonight. I don't care if you're high, I don't care if you're drunk, I don't care what situation you're in right now as you're watching it. You can turn your life around. Yes. It can be done. If you need, if you want to join an awesome church, God has spoken to you tonight and you say, man, this is what I need. I want to know God. I want to love God and I want to serve God. I need to get up under this. I may not even stay in Columbia, South Carolina, but I want to be a part of True Church and Set Free Ministry. You can join us tonight. Give yeah. us a call. 803-977-3440. Give us a call tonight. 803-507-9057. That's me. That's my number. Call me. Let's talk about it. We'll welcome you into our family. I don't care if you're in Florida, Philadelphia, Chicago, Dallas, Wherever you're watching us from, Texas, Atlanta, we're here. We're here for you. Get up under this word. We are right now, this is where the church is moving virtually. Where we're coming together worshiping through live stream. This may be the new way we do church now. We may not return to the building at all, but the word will come to you. Amen. We can bring the building to you, Amen. right in your home. You can follow us every Sunday 
9 a.m. for children's church. If you got children, then you want to bring the whole family up under us. Your family as well. We got a youth minister in there dynamic. We got two ministers, youth minister Denise and Anthony, youth minister Jennifer Stewart, that is here. They are trained by God. They're full of the Holy Spirit. They have the thing that God has incapable and they gave them to be able to teach your children to know God, love God, and serve God. Yes. And then at 10 o'clock, you come to the Word as a whole family, branding with us. You got myself, you got Pastor Colin, that we're here, we're called by God to help you to know God, love God, and serve God. And we do it every Sunday at 10 a.m. right here on Kevin L. Jones' Facebook page. And also here with like tonight, Thursday. We're back on Thursday for the dynamic work to follow up whatever God has given us for Sunday. We kind of needed to break down, we kind of walk through it, we kind of just, you know, take our time with it and make sure that you get it. But I encourage you, just don't wait to go from Sunday and then Thursday to look at it. Read your word Sunday night. Yeah. Read your word Monday, Tuesday. Read it Wednesday. Read it Thursday. Tonight, after you get back home, uh, we'll read. We, when we are on law out tonight. Before you go to bed, just peek back at it, Revelation 12, 11, and 12. All you may have to do is just look back at it and just, just read. Read what you heard this yet. You say, God speak. Do it again tomorrow. Do it again the next day. And the next day. Five minutes can turn into 10 minutes. And then 10 to 15 to 20 until you are right there talking to God every day. Man, listen to it while you're on the right in the car. Listen. We got a challenge. Do me a favor. You got to do me a favor. I want all of y'all that haven't done it yet because I need to help you help bring this word even more um, into the next level into your home. I need every one of you, my friends, my family, man, y'all rock with me, you roll with me, you say you love me, I see you out in the public, you say, hey man, I know what you're doing. I'm not asking you right now for anything yet. Yet. What I'm asking you for right now is for you to go to where you get off. So I want you to hang around for me, God, and stuff I want to tell you. But once you do this tonight, once you go to True Church SC, mm -hmm. go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. Everybody has them. He's on your phone. Go to YouTube. Please do this right now. Mm -hmm. Put in True Church SC. And you can see me. Yeah. Look, so you can see me. You can see me on there. You see my wife. You see um Pastor Carl. You see um Youth Minister Anthony. You see Youth Minister Stuart. You see us. Subscribe to that channel. So that we can get the numbers up, so that we can get more word to you yes. through different levels. And also, I want you to write that down True Church at C. That's on YouTube. That's our YouTube page. So you can get a word any time, day or night, right there on our page. So I want you to do a favor and make up of your business to visit us every day. And pick out your service. We got a catalog. We got a, we got a long, long library. A word from years of back when we first started to now and then. Go back and listen. Look through the titles and see what stands out to you, what God is saying to one of the titles. Just scroll down the videos till you see a video that's leads you right where you're at and click on it. It ain't about which one of us preached it that day, it's about the word that was spoken at yeah. that's going to change your life. True church ethic. We need to go on that subscribe today. Amen. 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 I pray that all of you be blessed. I pray that God will move to ministry in your life tonight. I pray that He's spoken to you tonight. I pray that He's um, answered some questions tonight. I pray that He's brought us together in unity. I pray that He's solved this problem that we were having and we in church and against the world. I pray that He's united us. We needed this conversation. We needed to, to identify who's the enemy. Yes. We need to identify who's the real enemy. If I'm a white brother, if I'm a black brother, it's the devil. He's just using some people. And now that we're all on one side of the ground, we're all on the same page to, to who the enemy is. We can fight better. Yes. And we fight better together. Yes. We fight better together. Yes. White or black, we fight better together. And it's, it, it, it's power in unity. I pray that y'all will meet us out on Friday, on Saturday, Saturday at 12 o'clock on Fowl Road, right by the, the field, right by Capitol Heights, right there. Lean on me. That's a powerful event that you do not want to miss. We pray that you'll be there. I'll be speaking there. This is put together by my brother in Christ, loving to death, Mark Healer. This is a vision that he's had and many other people that support him. And man, this is tremendous. The people that are poured into this um, event is incredible. It's going to be spirit-filled. And we ask that you meet us there. 
social distancing will be um, in place there. We ask that you know you use that. It's up to us to help with the social distance stuff. It's up to us to fight the devil against this virus. Yes. We all have to do our part. I'm asking you tonight, please do your part. Mm -hmm. Wear your mask when you go out. Just practice social distance. Wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer. Please do that for me. I want to see you. I want to talk about you. I want to talk to you. We can bring the numbers down if we all do it together. Know the people that you that you be with. See, you know, don't be reckless, right, y'all? We're not trying to take your part, but man, don't be reckless. Right. The numbers are staggering. We can break this thing down to where you can get back to some normalcy, but we all have to play our part. Don't depend on just the government to do it. We all are called to do our part. Please be safe. Please be safe. Um, last but not least, if you would like to donate to this wonderful ministry, but we still are doing some work. We are not now the enemies to stop us at all. We still feed the hungry, clothing in the neck, visiting the prisoners, um, going to see about the sick, taking in the strength. That's what God called us to do. But we can't do it without you guys. And so we thank you for your support, whether it's little or small, whatever God has put on your heart tonight to give. Pastor Carter is going to come for and she's going to send you how to be able to give into this great dynamic ministry. That seed that you sow tonight, no matter on what size, whatever, God puts it on your heart. This will come back to you, but this is good ground. It will come back to you a hundredfold. Don't let the virus, don't let the pandemic, don't let that cause you to rob God. Don't ever let anything cause you to rob and disobey God. Don't let it stop you from giving. And the time might get you ought to give even more because God is still on the throne. We read that. And he still does it. He don't care about what the economy is. There's no shortage in heaven. Don't let it, don't let him rob you and tell you, oh man, it ain't giving to nothing. No, don't tell the devil he is tonight. Like, stop him in his tracks. Be an overcomer. By the blood by the testimony and by your life. Mm -hmm. Pastor Carla told me to tell you how you can give and then she gives us a benediction. Amen. 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 What a wonderful word. Tonight, I am an overcomer. Hallelujah. Mm. And we thank you again so much for everyone tuning in with us, True Church at Set Free Ministry. Thank you for your giving. These are um, the ways that you are able to give to us. We do have Cash App. That is True Church SC. Again, it's True Church SC is our Cash App. You can send it there. You can also reach myself, Pastor Carter with a debit or credit card payment at 803-977-3440. Or you can contact First Lady Katrina Jones at 803-597-9100. Again, we thank you so much. We can't do this without you. You're sowing into good grounds, and we're going to keep on working. And together, we are going to continue serving the community and we're going to continue to declare that I am an overcomer. Again, the ways to give, cash out at True Church SC or by debit or credit card payments at 803-977-3440 or 803-597-9100. Thank you so much for joining in with us. We love you. We appreciate you. And what a just awesome word from Pastor John. Amen. I'm always blessed. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed. Amen. 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 amen.